Hello internet friends and welcome to the fifth and last part of our tutorial series to create a character in Flash. If you're just tuning in, make sure to watch the first four parts before you watch this one. We're creating this character you're looking at right now and let's wrap it up. We have to uh, make his pants, his arms and his feet and that's uh, gonna be pretty easy compared to the stuff we've done before. So uh, let's start, I think uh, we're gonna start with the pants first, it's really easy, or you can see the sketch, they're basically gonna be two rectangles. So let's start with the rectangle tool for the fill color, I already have a sort of a bluish color. And uh, for the stroke, well, it's going to be a black stroke. So let's draw that rectangle with the rectangle tool, obviously, and double click it. And we're going to go to uh, modify, convert to symbol, and uh, call it Jose Pantalones, which means pants in Spanish. Now, what we're going to do is why is it not? Oh, okay. So I have this, uh, as you can see, the pants. Uh, up on the uh, head layer and I have to move it to the body the body so once we have that we're gonna once, once it's in the body layer move it to the layer I'm sorry arrange it to go to the bottom so now I'm inside the pants symbol and just sort of moving the shape again with the selection tool moving the corners and moving them uh, sort of making curves on the lines which is a uh, it's pretty simple and um, just double click to go inside and modify the, uh, the shirt symbol. By the way, if you uh, do the uh, convert lines to fills thing, it's going to be pretty uh, difficult to modify the shape afterwards. So make sure you already have your shape how you want it before you do the modify convert lines to fills thing, the thing we've been doing for the whole sort of lesson. So now I just copied, duplicated, I'm sorry, copied and uh, pasted the uh, pants and flipped them horizontally. But I, I sort of don't like how it looks, I want to modify it a bit. But if I just sort of copy and paste the symbol and start uh, modifying it, um, it's not, it's not going to work. I'm going to show you in a second what happens if you uh, go and modify that symbol. What's going to happen is, let's double click on the symbol, if I modify it, you can see the other pant sort of moves as well, and I just want to modify that single pant. That pant sounds weird. But anyway, let's go to select the symbol, let's go to symbol and duplicate symbol. Now this, this is going to create a new instance, I just name it Jose Pantalon 2, and you can see in the library that it's another instance of the symbol. That means we can modify it independently from the symbol which we copied. Okay, so once we have that, we can actually go inside the symbol by double clicking and start modifying. And as you can see, the other symbol does not modify, so that's perfect. That's what we want. And you know, we could have done that with the eye as well and the uh, sleeve of the shirt and whatnot, but you know. I'm not gonna do it, you know, for time reasons and stuff like that, but you can obviously do it, you know, to give it a little bit uh, more symmetry. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is sort of pull the pant upwards. I wanna make uh, the feet, uh, well, if you're looking at straight, the one that's on the left would be his right. I wanna give him a, a shoe that's like a profile view and the other shoe, uh, a three-quarter view. Let's see if we can do that. Right here, I'm, I'm just uh, think, tinkering around the, uh, the shapes, you know. Like I told you, you can double-click inside each symbol and start, you know, just uh, with the free transform tool, making them, stretching them out, whatever you want, you know. Nothing is set in stone what, once you, you make a symbol. So, um, what I'm gonna do now, I think, is uh, make, uh, move the pivot points of the pants, you know, just uh, with the free transform tool, select the symbol and move that pivot, that uh, white circle over there. And as you can see, if we move the leg, something like that happens. And I mean, this would work if we had like the character playing soccer or something like that. Uh, it's not the most convenient thing to do. The most convenient thing would be to have a, like a knee, have the the thigh of the and the leg separate symbols you know what i mean like two different symbols and rotate him like that but you know this is a basic character lesson so let's just give him one symbol and just have him walking without bending his knees or something 
Okay, now I'm gonna make the arms, and that's gonna be pretty much the same thing as the uh, as the pants. Just make a square, obviously, with the color of the skin. Let's convert that to a symbol. That was kind of quick, but it said Jose Brazo, which means Jose Arm. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same. It's a pretty simple shape, like I said. Let's double click and modify that. The ideal thing would be to have uh, both uh, symbols for the uh, forearm and things like that. But, you know, again, just simplifying things, just making one symbol. And obviously, you know, having his hands on his pockets so I don't have to draw hands. Woo! Um, but, you know, the ideal thing too would be to have hands. So, just uh, modifying the shape, giving him kind of adventure timey arms, you know, those uh, sort of rubber hose arms or something like that. Uh, that's the idea at least. Let's modify it a bit. And as you can see, it's sort of on top of the sleep. Just uh, with the hotkey, I, I move it backwards. And I think that looks fine. I uh, am liking that, but, you know, modifying it a bit. And once you have something like that, I'm going to just copy that symbol and just basically flip it horizontally and move it uh, to the bottom of all those symbols to have something like this, okay? So that looks pretty good, I'm gonna convert lines to symbols, select that square, that selection, and put it on a la new layer and bring the opacity down, that's basically, basically going to create a shadow, and it's the same thing as the neck, just a little shadow there. We could put more shadows, we should, like on the, the shirt, but let's just leave it like that for now and uh, yeah I mean we just have to uh, make the, the the shoes now which is gonna be really simple just grab a square uh, let's let's like no stroke and a black color because it's just gonna be like a shape like that I'm gonna pull the point on the square to make it a triangle as you can see and just bend that shape like so and that's gonna be the profile, and just with the free transform tool, just stretch it up a bit, modify the shape. And now, once you have something like that, hit F8 to convert to symbol, and let's just call it Jose Shoe. All right, now uh, let's not duplicate it. I'm gonna, you know, create a new rectangle. It doesn't cost me anything, um, and try to sort of make a shape that would be a three-quarter view. It, it's kind of dif difficult because it's just like a black shadow the shoe but you know if you don't make it as uh, as big as the other one might give the illusion who knows I, I think it looks pretty good and once you have something like that like I have I'm gonna modify it a little bit more uh, just put it like so and hit F8 to convert to symbol Jose shoe okay and just put it you know perspective just to uh, differentiate that from the other shoe. Now just double click go inside to modify it a bit more and we are done now with the character. Yeah, I, I believe that's about it. Um, let's just select all the symbols and put, in, put them on the other side just to compare it with the sketch. I think it looks quite good compared to a sketch to be honest and now it's sort of animatable like I said limited animation with symbols but still I mean it's it's a pretty good start just uh, don't forget to uh, move the pivot point on the arm like that you can see that it looks pretty good I think and um, yeah if you want to do more stuff just separate and make two different symbols for the arms and for the legs as well uh, unless you have them like playing soccer or something and you know the head can move as well and I'm gonna just that pivot point. Okay, so that's it. Remember, you can double click on the head, go inside, and modify those symbols. The, the flash files are in the description of this video. Hope it has helped, and if there is any question, you can leave them in the comments or watch the previous videos. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.